Welcome to Lonsdale Public Library's Summer Reading Program Week 2. This is the video for pre-readers. So again, if you're a reader or a teen, you might want to go and watch that one. Uh, reminder that uh, this year we're doing stuff differently. So instead of having big events, you're going to come and pick up a packet. If you didn't do Week 1, we've still got some leftovers for you. Um, until, they, until we run out, you can still pick up a Week 1 packet. So I'm just gonna take a quick run through what's in your week one, week two, two packet for uh, pre-readers. First of all, got a classic song. This is Ba Ba Black Sheep. And I'm sure you all know how to sing that one. But then we've got this fun little, it's called a finger play. So I'm gonna go through this one. It's called Two Little Blackbirds. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little blackbirds flying in the sky. One named Low and one named High. Fly away, Low. Fly away, High. Come back, Low. Come back. Hi. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One name soft and one name loud. Fly away soft. Fly away loud. Come back soft. Come back loud. So that's a little fun to have, right? Who doesn't want to do that? And while we are on the theme of imagination, I don't know if you know that, but that's the thing we're on. Uh, this little handout is a, from Harold and the Purple Crayon, which is a classic book. If you have not read it, I highly recommend it. And it's just tracing. So that's, again, a good skill to develop for little hands uh, prior to learning how to write. And you can talk, it's different shapes, so you can talk about what those different shapes are. And another little learning activity. This is from Goldilocks and the Three Bears, which of course is another great story that I hope you have read. And as you know, it has to deal with Papa Bear and Mama Bear and Baby Bear. So there's a lot about sizes. So this has the beds, the chairs, and the bowls of porridge. So you're gonna to wanna to cut them out and have your child arrange them by size and you can talk about big and little and what is in between. Got a couple of coloring pages, this very brave little knight. And speaking of Goldilocks, there she is sleeping in baby bear's bed. What would you do if you came home and someone was sleeping in your bed? And now I'm gonna turn you over to Ms. Penny to talk about our crafts. Hi, pre-readers, welcome to week two's crafts. We have two different crafts. The first one looks like this. Actually, yours doesn't look like this, does it? Yours looks like a sheet of paper. What I did was roll it up. We are making a scroll. A scroll is an ancient way of drawing pictures or telling a story. And so you can use a brown paper bag like it shows on the paper. Or if you really want to, you can even just use the back of this paper. Once you draw your story on it, you can roll it up and then tie it with a piece of ribbon that you'll have in your kit. This part is a very tricky. In fact, sometimes it helps if I could have a finger to help me out with this. Alex, may you put your finger there, please? If you put the finger right on the knot, it makes it much easier to tie a bow. And there you go, your very own scroll. Our second craft is actually an activity. You have a page that has pigs and a wolf on it. And so you can color them and then you cut them out. And on the back, I taped them together so that they fit over my fingers. And then you can tell a finger play with them. There is even an activity sheet in your packet 
that has a little rhyme with it. It goes like this. Let me get the right pig. If you look at the bottom of the pigs, this pig has straw. This pig has wood or sticks. And this one has bricks. Start out with this one. One, one little pig went to find his way over the hill not far away. He built his home of flimsy straw, but his house had a fatal flaw. The next little pig went to find his way over the hill not far away. He built his home of fragile sticks. He should have used his brother's bricks. The third little pig went to find his way over the hills not far away. He built a home of sturdy bricks and he was safe from the wolf's mean tricks. Now it doesn't say, but do you guys remember what the wolf's mean tricks are? For the pig that had the straw, the wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house down. And you can do the same with your pig with his house of straw. That the wolf, or sticks, that the wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house down. If you remember the house that was made out of bricks, the wolf can huff and puff all he wants. He can't blow that house down because the house made of bricks is super strong. I hope you guys enjoy playing with your finger puppets and that you make really cool stro uh, scrolls. And we'll see you next week.